Hey, I'm Jared from Prompt Layer. Uh, we are a small team in New York City. Uh, our ba we come from research, come from the ML ops background, and we are the the first and the largest platform for prompt engineering. And uh, I guess what is prompt engineering? This is a new thing. Maybe some of you guys know. Maybe it's a real word. Maybe it's not. But basically, prompt engineering is how do you know what to tell the AI and to get the right output, right? And uh, it's kind of a tinkering process. It's not. It's not science. It's closer to an art than science, in our opinion. And you'll talk to a lot of people who kind of want to explain why the AI, oh, you, if you're nice to the AI, you'll get a better answer because it's been trained on Stack Overflow. And when you're nice on Stack Overflow, you get a better answer. But in our opinion, it's a black box. And it's just tinkering. It's just trying stuff, seeing if it works, trying other stuff, seeing if th those work. So that's what we built Prompt Layer for. You can access it at promptlayer.com. Uh, you can get started for free. And I'll give you a little bit of demo. But uh, just like to give you some context, the high level thing we want to do is not just help you prompt engineer, but basically we realized that making a Twitter demo is super easy. Making a product, and you can ask any of the other found, like amazing founders talking today, uh, making a real product that works 100% of the time or 99.9999% of the time is hard. And you have to know what's going on in your system. You have to know how to improve it. You have to know where it's failing. Things are, uh, it's always the halting problem to know if a prompt is perfect until you actually put it in production. It's kind of impossible to know. So yeah, let me, uh, let me just jump into a quick demo. So basically, you go to promptlayer.com. Like I said, uh, pretty, pretty easy to set up. Uh, it's very zoomed in. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, basically, it's one line of code. Instead of, uh, instead of importing OpenAI, you do right here, I'll show you. You do OpenAI equals promptlayer.openai. You don't change any of the rest of your code, and you get a log. You get you get to see what's going on in your system. Because to us, like getting it from Twitter demo to a real product that works for your end users, uh, the first step to it is knowing what the hell is going on on your system. You can't you can't solve any of the edge cases without being able to see what happens. So that's why logging is kind of like the cornerstone. Observability is the cornerstone of our product, and then. In our opinion, like the really cool thing about prompts is it's English. Everybody on the team understands it. So when you're an actual team building prompts, uh, you want the PM to be able to edit the prompts. You want your engineer. You don't want the you don't want the whole team to be blocked on end deployment cycles. So that's why we kind of have prompt layer. That's why people use us to store their prompts. So the main thing, as I said, is this observability layer. So it's kind of this sidebar. So we can. I'll just show the favorites because these are the kind of the good ones to show off. I was just playing around before. But you can see a prompt. You can see kind of the JSON behind it. You can see the response. You can see the JSON there. Uh, and then we have a few other things like scoring. Uh, we have some metadata. Let me show you metadata. So metadata is super useful uh, because it's kind of like segment style. You could think of it like, what are the users doing on my platform? How do I figure it out? Maybe I can throw my metadata in prompt layer. I can search by metadata here. I can pull it up. We have another thing called the prompt registry. So the prompt registry, you could think of it as kind of like a CMS for prompt templates. So this is where you store each prompt template version. You can track it. You can see which ones are working, where you're using it, where. Let me open a good one. Uh, this is a good one. It's kind of stupid, so bear with me. But uh, my prompt here is summarize the following text. Make sure the summary uses big words and jargon. And uh, I was trying to compare that to just summarize the below. And seeing may maybe big words and jargon kind of better encapsulates the data. But this kind of illustrates the difference between making a Twitter AI demo and making a real product. Because you care about latency. You care about cost. You care about these things when you're using a real product because users don't want to wait on your website for an hour. And uh, yeah, so you can see the usage. You could see where these prompts are used. And there's a really cool thing here, which is the score. So for this one, I actually uh, made a different prompt that scored it. So this, uh, this is called synthetic evaluation. So how do you actually use GPT to score GPT? So this prompt is basically saying, hey, you're helping to train. Here's the original. Here's the summary. How would you, how would you summarize it? So let's go back to our original summary. I've been playing around a lot, so we got a lot of garbage data here. but. Anyway, um, so you can see which one's costing more, which one's scoring better. And uh, this is super useful. We found a lot of our users. So we're, we have like probably almost 5,000 
uh, developers on our platform now. We have a bunch of teams, uh, big teams, small teams, whatever. And we found that a lot of them were having kind of the PMs come into here and edit the prompt so they don't have to rely on engineer time to change to when they found that a user uses their product in a weird way and they have to add something to their prompt. Because this is, a, this is an iteration. This is not a one time, one and done thing. So this is the prompt registry. This is a big part of it. Uh, analytics, another cool part. Let's go to all time. So this is just like how much I've been using prompt layer. Obviously, I probably use it less than most of our users <laughs> because I'm actually just building it. But uh, yeah, you can see which prompts are costing you the most. You can sort this by metadata, so see how certain locations are using it, how users. And then I'm going to show you guys kind of like a sneak peek of a new feature we're launching today. Uh, not launching today, but launching pretty soon. We have it like one customer on it today, but it's kind of like batch runs. So how do you actually, like we're entering this world where you have a lot of different models. You don't just have OpenAI anymore. You have Anthropic. You have GPT 3.5. You have four. Now there's a two new versions today. And how do I take my prompts? So like I have, uh, I have this prompt. How do I take this prompt? How do I run it against tons of test cases? And how do I kind of give it to the QA team and figure out if it's working or if it's not working? So we can throw it on GPT-4. Uh, we can throw a little JSON file here, and we can name it. I'm not going to run it right now because it's going it, it to take some time. Uh, but let's open one. So this is a, actually, I'm going to open a different one. I'm going to open the long summary one. This is a good one. So this is kind of like I took that whole summary thing of like, can you generate a summary? Give me a score. I'm giving this to Claude. And I'm asking it to rate all these things. And as you can see here, I ran it 30 times. You can run this 300 times, right? And just go through it, see, see what the answers are. I can export this as a CSV. I can give it to other people. And uh, yeah, this is still an early feature. Um, and then I'll show you this evaluation, which was a different one. And uh, we have a cool thing here where you can actually parse the output now. So I can do like mode uh, first. So this is like how I defined the prompt to give me three different outputs here. So yeah, um, this is kind of a, this is prompt layer, uh, just other things to call out. We're hiring a founding engineer. So that, if you know anyone or if any of you are interested, feel free to contact us. Here's some, here's some info, promptlayer.com, hello at promptlayer.com. We give most of our updates from Twitter. So follow us at, I'm at, I'm Jared Z. You can also follow at promptlayer, all of that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I, th I, I can't even see the time, but yeah, I think that's it. <laughs>